Spread the word, not the germs. Hi guys, welcome to episode six of Creative Corner. Today we're gonna to be doing a little color mixing. We're gonna be using this cool tool that I made and an actual light, as well as actual paint to see what happens when we mix red and yellow, red and blue, and blue and yellow. Before we go ahead and do our first activity, which will be the light, I wanna go over what is the difference between primary and secondary colors. On my first color wheel here, you see three colors red, yellow, and blue. Those are the primary colors. These colors, when mixed, get you these colors down here, which are called secondary colors, purple, orange, and green. The first thing we're gonna do is experiment with these cool tools. I usually use a big one in the front of the class while my students get to use these little ones at their table. It's pretty simple. I made these out of cardboard and this transparency paper. It just allows you to see it. And you're gonna see what happens when we add some light. The first one we're gonna do is red plus yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and use my tool and I'm gonna delete blue and leave red and yellow there. And when I use this light, you can see the orange. All right, the next one we're gonna do is red plus blue. So now I'm deleting yellow. And what do you think it's gonna make? Yep, purple, you can kind of see it already. There's your purple. And last, we have blue plus yellow. So now we're deleting red. And the last color is green. So there's your green. This is an easy way to get your answers. When it comes to mixing paint, it's a little bit more difficult because you have to know the ratio of what color to put. So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to actually put paint in these cups, red plus yellow, red plus blue, and blue plus yellow. You're gonna see I add a little bit more of one than the other, or maybe I add some white. I'm gonna speed up the process, but I'll explain at the end why I did what I did. So here we go, be right back. <laughs> Before I mix them up, I want to explain a little bit. So I put way more yellow than red in our first question. That is because yellow is a light color. So when you mix paint, you can't let the red dominate the yellow or it won't mix the color we're looking for. For the second one, I put kind of the same amount of red as I did blue, but because our blue is so dark, I went ahead and added a little bit of white. And then last was blue plus yellow. I put way more yellow than blue because again, yellow is a light color. And I also added white, so hopefully we can get a light, I don't wanna tell you the answer, but a light version of this color. So I'm gonna speed up the mixing and we'll see if I did my paint ratios correct. I think those colors came out pretty good. We had red plus yellow, which we already found out with the light made orange, red plus blue, which we found out from the light make purple, and then last blue plus yellow, which made green. So we did a pretty good job at mixing. Uh, don't get discouraged when you use paint. You have to play around with how much you put of each color until you get it just right. Um, I had test trials over here. See, I'm not perfect either. You have to make sure you put the right amount and to get that perfect shade of a secondary color that you like. So let's do a quick little review before we say goodbye. Primary colors, I'm gonna have you guys say them. Are you ready? I'm gonna point and you're gonna say the word. What color is this? Okay, good job. And now secondary color, what color is this? Okay. And 
Good job. All right. So don't forget primary colors versus secondary colors. So next time, guys, see you later. Spread the word, not the germs. <laughs>